No, he's bigger than I thought he was. Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Jamie Hartman here. We all know how a, a Ned style bait works. It's just a little stick bait um, slid onto a real light head. But you can also take this deal right here and put it onto your uh, jig. Like this is my main smallmouth jig right here. I've caught, I can't tell you how much <laughs> money I've won off of this bait right here, but it, it's up there pretty good. Um, here's one option I roll with, whether it's smallmouth or largemouth. What I'll do is I'll take my half ounce uh, Riot Baits Little Creeper Jig, whether it be green pumpkin, peanut butter and jelly, you pick your color, match your scenario. But instead of putting a craw on there or a twin tail or something with a whole bunch of action, I've learned that dubbing it down sometimes, just taking that little stick bait and putting a stick bait on there instead of something real crazy, gets you a lot more bites. I mean, it can be like a night and day difference, especially on calm conditions, the very finicky fish. The rod that I like to throw with a jig like this or anything that's got a smaller finesse hook style is a 7.4 medium heavy. Now this is not a flipping stick. It is not something that's very stiff. It's got backbone through here and then it's very, very parabolic all the way to the middle of the rod. It's almost like a swim bait rod. And that's the kind of style hook set that I use with a jig like this or any, anything like this with a smaller finesse hook when I rig it on a bait cast setup. It is a uh, real feel the pressure and then a nice smooth hook set. I found that doing a whip set or a real hard hook set you lose a lot more fish. Um, I've kind of honed in on that hook set for a while and uh, it definitely hooked the land ratio has gone up through the roof. So when I pair that with anywhere from 12 pound to 15 pound high seas fluorocarbon, once again a high speed reel and that setup right there is about perfect for me and you don't have to use as long as a rod as I do. Uh, if you're not comfortable with it, you can go with it. I would say at least a seven footer. I like the 7.4, it's right in between. I get a great big long cast with it and a lot of um, line pickup. That's crucial. Once you feel that little tick and sometimes, you know, that time of season, they'll, they'll bite it real light. So you really, really gotta pay attention to it. This is my ultimate setup. Um, it's very, very, very sensitive. And that's what I like when I'm throwing a bait like this. Give this a try right here. I think uh, under the right conditions, it will absolutely put more bites on your line and get them in the boat for you.